Hi everybody, I'm Lisa. Behind the camera is Bill. Together we are Beliso. Welcome to our channel. As you can see, I'm standing next to my air conditioner. We noticed the other day that our air conditioner stopped working. Today, I'm going to show you how to fix it and save hundreds of dollars. Let's get started. We noticed that when we turned our thermostat on to cool, we weren't getting cold air. As you can see, the house is currently 79 degrees. I'm going to turn the air conditioner on cool and I've got the setting down to 75 degrees so that we should be getting cool air in here. I'm gonna take you outside and show you what's going on. So we've come outside to our air conditioner and you can hear that the compressor is running, but the fan isn't running. So we're going to use this to spin the fan and get it going. It's just a ruler I'm gonna stick down in here. And that's gonna kick the fan on because it's not turning on on its own. Why didn't the fan motor start up? So air conditioning units have capacitors. They have two capacitors, one to run the compressor and one to run the fan motor. Some air conditioners, that capacitor is only one capacitor to do both items. As you can hear, the compressor started up, but the fan motor did not start up. So I had to spin it manually and that was diagnosing the problem. As you can hear, air is coming out and I can feel that it is cool air. And that is our second diagnosis, just to confirm that it is the capacitor for the fan motor is not working. So let's fix the problem. The first step is you need to make sure that all thermostats in the house or any devices that control the thermostats are turned off. So I have turned this one off. I'm gonna check the rest of them and we'll go on to the next step. The next step is to go to your breaker box and to make sure that all power supplied to your air conditioning unit is turned off. So you're gonna to wanna to go through your panel and figure out which one goes to the air conditioning unit. I see mine right here says AC. So I'm gonna turn these off. Let's head to the next step. Our air conditioner has another power disconnect here. So I'm gonna open this up and I'm gonna pull this out just like that. Let's head to the next step. Our next step is we need to remove this cover. So it has four screws. My husband has provided me with this handy dandy tool. So I'm gonna get started on that. But first I wanted to tell you about this Edison box that's been added to our air conditioner. You may be wondering what that is. Well, here um, where we live, Southern California Edison is the company that provides us electricity. We, they have a program during the summertime and we allow them to put this box on our air conditioning unit and they have the ability to cycle our air conditioner off during high usage times a few times a summer in order to provide us savings on our electric bill during those summer months. So we are helping the community and helping Edison by allowing them to cycle it off when needed and I'll be right back. I've removed the four screws and now I'm going to set them over here for safekeeping. While I remove the cover, I'm just going to pull down and set this over here as well. After removing the cover, I can see that I only have one capacitor. This capacitor is providing energy to the fan motor on this side and the blue on this side is providing energy to the compressor. Remember that your capacitor is holding power. So it has been enough time since I have turned everything off um, at the power breakers where the power is being provided to here and removing the cover. So enough time has been provided to drain the energy from this. So now I'm going to take it out. My husband has supplied me with these needle nose pliers and now I'm going to remove the wires from the capacitor starting with the yellow wires which are the common wires. So I'm just going to gently squeeze right here and lift this up off and I want to get this up out of the way. Okay, let's remove the second common wire right here. All right. OK, 
Okay. Okay. Next, I'm going to remove the blue wire, which runs the compressor. There we go. And I'm moving it up out of the way so it doesn't touch And now it. I'm gonna remove the brown wire which powers the fan motor. All right, come on, baby. All right. Almost got it, there we go. I'm gonna move it up out of the way so it's not touching anything. Next, I'm gonna use a hex head screwdriver to remove the screw that is holding the bracket, that is holding the capacitor to the air conditioner. All right, I'm gonna put my screw up on the table for safekeeping as well as this bracket because we're gonna need these when we put the new capacitor in. By the magic of movie making, my new capacitor has arrived. The way I determined which capacitor I needed is I took my old capacitor and I took the numbers off of it. I went online and I did a search and I was able to find the exact same capacitor online. I will tell you that if you order, if you call an air conditioning company out, they're gonna charge you hundreds of dollars. I was able to order this part and have it shipped to my house for less than $20, and I'm doing the repair myself. A capacitor will only run for about five years in your air conditioner. So if your air conditioning unit is still working after five years, you are running on borrowed time. So let's get it open, and hopefully I was sent the right one. We can see that there are different sizes, but let's just make sure that the numbers match. You can see that it's 440 volts, 440 volts, and the item number matches. All right, so let's get the new one installed. This terminal over here says fan, and when we removed the first capacitor, the brown wire was connected to the fan terminal, so that's the one we're going to connect first. I'm gonna use my needle nose pliers and very carefully attach the brown wire. Next, I'm going to attach the blue wire, which runs the compressor. All right. Next, I'm going to connect the yellow common wire to complete the circuit for the fan. And finally, I'm going to attach the second yellow common wire to complete the circuit for the compressor. All right, let's head to the next step. This bracket won't work because our new capacitor is smaller in diameter. But before we close this all up, we are gonna turn the power back on to make sure that it works. I'm gonna plug the power terminal back in to the air conditioner. Okay. Let's head to the breaker. We've made it to the breaker box. And the air conditioning that we already turned, I'm gonna push it all the way to the left and then turn it back on. 
let's head inside to the thermostat. We've made it to the thermostat. I'm going to turn it on cool. Right now it's currently 79 degrees in the house. I have it set at 75. So let's head out to the air conditioning unit and see if it turned on properly. Yes, 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 yes. I fixed the air conditioner. Okay, so now I need to find a proper way to get this in and close it all up and then I'll be done. Since the bracket wouldn't work, we gorilla taped it in place. And now let's get the cover put back on. Done, cover is back on. All right, everybody, we're gonna end our video here. This part came just in time because we have a friend coming into town today to stay for the weekend and now she'll have nice, cool air. I hope you enjoyed our video. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.